A bill making its way through the General Assembly would give some adopted Hoosiers greater access to their past. But as News 18's Elizabeth Rentschler reports, opinions on the bill are mixed. I was 22 months when I was adopted. In 1984, Liz Lukens was adopted from her hometown of Kokomo, Indiana, and brought to live with her adoptive family near Mulberry. I had a, a great family. They, they all loved me. My grandparents doted on me all the time. But as she grew older, Lukens' urge to know about her biological family's history grew stronger, especially from a medical standpoint. They'd ask, does your family have a history of this? Well, I don't know. I'm adopted. <laughs> and so it's really hard. And then it actually got harder when we had our, our daughter. Now, a bill going through the General Assembly would give those adopted prior to 1994, like Lukens, greater access to their birth records. Lukens says she would like to have access to those records, but meeting her biological family isn't something she's interested in. I don't know if that would be too difficult on both sides, not just me, but, but them, because I know that, I mean, obviously I'm not in their family for a reason. And that's the issue, Tippecanoe Superior 5 Judge Sean Person says legislators are weighing. What they're balancing right now is going to be the, the right for information, those adoptive persons wanting to know information about who are my parents and, and some of the health issues that they may have versus uh, the right to privacy. And that'd be biological uh, parents that made a decision a long time ago under the assumption it was sealed and confidential. Hoosiers adopted in 1994 and after can access their birth records as long as their biological mother didn't sign a non-release form. And that's something Lukens believes everyone should have the right to. These people will know where they came from, know what their medical history is, know what their family history is. And I'm one of those people, and I would love to know that. The bill passed the Senate 46 to 3 and now heads to the House. If passed, the law would take effect in July of 2016. In Lafayette, Elizabeth Rentschler, News 18. Judge Sean Person says should the bill become law, biological parents who gave their children up for adoption prior to 1994 could sign a no-contact form.